Welcome to the Doug and Nikki Testing Studio. I am Doug. I have a very, very exciting video for you today. You all know if you've ever watched my channel before, I love technology. I love technology particularly when it makes my life easier and better. And this product here is a winner for that. This is the TireMinder Smart TPMS smartphone based tire pressure system. This kit is a complete tire pressure monitoring system for up to six wheels, but you can go up to 20 wheels with this app. Let's take a look inside and see what it comes with. This TPMS kit comes designed and set up to monitor six wheels, but you can monitor as many wheels as you wanna throw at it. You just need to keep getting more sensors. Let's open it up, take a look inside and see what's in there. So let's see what's inside the box. It is a nice sturdy box, but it's worth. Comes with a warranty card. Comes with an instruction book. And within the instruction book, I'm assuming there will be, yeah, QR codes to download the app, which we're gonna need. This here is the Bluetooth receiver along with the six sensors, which we're gonna mount on the trailer. Let's keep digging in here, see what we're... Oh, look at that. Oh, you get a cool, get a cool tire minder sticker, some swag there. Oh, it comes with a really nice case. Within the case, it comes with additional batteries. In here, you're gonna find... Oh, okay, so this is a real plus. Cause one of my issues that I've been having lately with all the things in my truck is that a lot of them want to plug into the very few, what used to be cigarette lighters, but now they're chargers. This one does plug in there, but at the same time, it includes two USB connections, which is fabulous. It also, you could plug it into a 110 circuit, which I actually have as well, free in my truck. So that really frees up a lot of my precious space in the truck. I like that a lot. This here is the repeater. So if you have a particularly long trailer, this is super easy. It just clips to the positive and negative terminals for the battery. You mount this. Normally it's good to mount like somewhere on the chassis somewhere. So it's got kind of like a clear line of sight to your rear wheels. And then this will repeat the signal to this Bluetooth device. So you always have an absolutely strong signal um, when you're going down the road. Why don't we start installing things and set it up and see how it works? Okay, it is blazing hot out here in Florida today. So I am not gonna crawl under this trailer and do the full install of the repeater. But let me show you how it gets installed because it is super simple. It's all you gotta do is you gotta take the cover off of your battery system here. You're gonna attach the very simply marked, we all know red positive, black negative. You're gonna put these alligator clips onto the wires. And then you're just simply gonna run this repeater back along the chassis. You wanna be sure to fasten the wire so it's not hanging down, not gonna get caught on anything. So it can pick up the signal from either the vehicle you're towing or your wheels, which are pretty far back from your receiver in your cab. And this way it'll amplify that signal and you'll always have a really strong reading of what your tire pressure and temperatures are. All right, let's start installing some of the fun stuff, the technology inside the truck itself. First thing that we're gonna install is the Bluetooth receiver transmitter, which is gonna communicate the tire pressure and temperature information to the app on your phone. All you need to do to set it up is plug it in Press the button on the top, and you're gonna see this blue light comes on, and that is it. We are all set up for the next step. Let's set up that cool app. First, you're gonna scan the QR code out of the book. It's obviously gonna bring you to, right to the Tire Minder app. You're gonna download and install that onto your cell phone. It's gonna request all the normal permissions, and then it's gonna to check to make sure there are no updates to the app. Once that's complete, as you can see, it has automatically paired itself with the Bluetooth receiver, which is so easy. 
We're going to click that learn button at the center bottom and that's going to put it into a mode where it will pair with all the different transmitters. It's super easy. I'll walk you through it so you know what it's like. Okay, so here's the process. You're going to remove the tire pressure sensor. So read zero and put it into learn mode. You're going to press the tire you want to be recording, which for me and my application right now, I am going to record the left rear for my vehicle here. And it's saying learning. And so then you're going to plug in the sensor. And there it goes, picks it up. How simple and easy is that? Let's just go and repeat. One more time, here we go. Let's learn this wheel. All right. Hey, while you watch me race through setting up all the rest of these wheels, I'll tell you what's gonna come next, and that is we are gonna set up a baseline for all the tire pressures. When it comes set up, you'll see it is set up for a much higher tire pressure than for my regular vehicle, so it's throwing off alarms. So you just simply press the baseline, you then press whichever wheel you want to set, you punch in the tire pressure, so now I'm driving around, I'm not hooked up to the trailer, so I'm using lower pressures like 34 pounds for the vehicle's wheels. And, but I'm going to trip it up. You're going to see here, but just because I wanted to see how sensitive it was and if it was going to throw alarms. And so my left rear tire, I had overinflated to 45 just to see what it would do. And it is going to instantly throw up an alarm when we go back into basic monitoring mode. But this is all you do. You just repeat at each wheel. You just press the wheel you want to change change the number you got to remember to press done to lock it in and you just move through in my case i'm moving through all eight wheels and it took uh, no time at all to do it so as i send it back to the home mode it instantly shows up that i am over pressure in my left rear tire at 47 pounds per square inch which is precisely what we want the system to do keep us out of trouble either with tire pressures going down or over inflating all right, how about some final thoughts? Well, you've seen it installed, you've seen how it works, and you've actually seen it change my mind personally. I was that guy who I was happy to just have a basic system and have the computer monitor the truck and just have a basic thing monitoring the back and the trailer, and I was so, so impressed at how easy this system was to work with. I'm now monitoring all eight tires at once, we checked the alarms. The alarm worked flawlessly, so I don't have to worry about actually watching and having the tire pressure sitting on my dashboard all the time. It's great, and I'm switching to this, guaranteed. Um, one thing I will remind you is you need to leave the app running in the background, otherwise those alarms won't work. It doesn't use up too much extra power and easily runs in the background on both Apple and Android systems. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And I hope you've hit that like button and subscribed as well. And we'll see you next time on the road.